Hi, and welcome back to Wicked Ones Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for long distance or new contact. Let's call in spirit with some wind chime time. I'm so terrified I'm going to ruin like the entire setup here with my wings. Uh, happy Halloween. If you're seeing this in the first couple of days after I post this, it should be rather timely for you. This will be the first in a series of costumes I plan on wearing for you guys, so I'm pretty excited. So the other thing is you may notice like some of the things in my like tarot table area has changed. I'm moving soon, so I'm like working from a little bit of a smaller set of cards. It was really hard to do that, you guys. <laughs> All right, so as I said, we're gonna do a long distance or no contact read. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. We're gonna get started with the Santa Muerte deck. Also, I really missed you guys. <laughs> Did I say that? What do we have for long distance no contact, please? This is Santa Muerte, if I didn't mention that. One of the decks that I packed up was the Oracle for this, because I usually only use that for personal readings. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles speaks about independence, uh, the ability to take care of your own shit, you pay the bills, you don't need to be in a couple in order to, you know, take care of business. So we have somebody here that, from the depiction in the card, I feel like they, they put up a lot of resistance to protect this independence. It's like giving me vibes of like somebody in a tank with all the green and like kind of hard surface area. So I think somebody has worked really hard to make it difficult for anybody to actually access like the inner parts of who they are. What else do we have on this contact? We have the world and page of wands. So the world coming out in a long distance or no contact reading is entirely too predictable, right? Because the world can signify somebody living at a distance or uh, somebody wanting to travel. It can also signify the end of one chapter and beginning of a new chapter. So you might have somebody who's rethinking this approach to like, I want to keep everybody out there, right? Because we also have somebody like sending a message here you can see there's a scroll in the hand of the skeleton that's sitting on the swing but there's like trepidation coming from the skeleton like i have something i want to say to you but i'm really really nervous to say it but i think most of you would consider whoever i'm reading this for um i think you would consider this good news so we have Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. This could be pertaining to a situation where you felt like the other person was not contributing or putting in effort the way that you were. Whether that's a regular relationship, friendship, or, you know, we were married. There's obviously something that's gone on because there's a lack of communication or proximity. Then we have the Seven of Swords coming out. So there was a situation here where somebody lied about their living situation, their desire for a relationship, or their ability to be that like reliable, loyal person, right? Somebody was being sneaky here. And we'll get a little bit more information on that. Let's see. I think it's appropriate that we make sure to include the jack-o'-lantern tarot. So we'll switch to that.
<laughs> yeah, the devil is clarifying the nine of pentacles. So that tells me that somebody was being a little bit selfish or even um, operating out of fear with regards to their fierce like defense of their independence or, you know, lack of connection or really deep connection. Wow, we have the Page of Wands as hidden um, energy. If you're new to my channel, that's where it flips over but doesn't fall out. So it looks like we've got some good news that you're not necessarily aware of yet, but it could be what's coming in this communication to you. I feel like somebody's paying closer attention to their intuition. They've taken a book around them, figured out what they were actually choosing or how they were prioritizing perhaps a little bit wrong. And I feel like there's some sort of like, wait, no, not that. I have to do something different. And it's, ooh, it was hidden energy though. It's coming out to clarify this world. So it feels to me like somebody has decided I can't continue to live in fear. I can't wall myself off from people and miss opportunities to have an actual connection with somebody just because I'm afraid of getting hurt. Everybody gets hurt. Even when I wall myself off, I get hurt. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, clarifying the world. So, to me, this is coming out as the end of a cycle where, because of fear, somebody was refusing to do anything long term with somebody. So, I might, you know, have like a, a month that I spend with you, but then I'm gone, you know, or maybe I don't even live in the same town for, you know, three weeks four weeks, you know, I'm in and out. Like there was just such a lack of stability or permanence or dedication that this person was, you know, offering, I guess. Like they, they couldn't be that loyal, reliable person. And with the sun in the reverse, I feel like this communication that whoever I'm reading for, you're going to receive is I didn't realize how unhappy it would make me to wall myself off like that and now I have to do something to change. I can't be that person anymore. So we have eight of wands in reverse and four of pentacles in the reverse. Interesting because this is also clarifying the eight of pentacles in the reverse and the seven of swords. Wow. Somebody is realizing that their lack of effort in a situation was the wrong choice, that the low communication or no contact or ghosting or blocking, not a good choice, and lying, being sneaky, they want to come clean. The Four of Pentacles in the reverse, there's something here that they're ready to let go of, something that they're ready to, you know, actually come clean about. This is somebody who's had time to think about what they've done. Ooh, seven of swords in the reverse. But it was like slightly moving, so I feel like somebody's almost there. Like, yeah, I know I have to come clean. I just have to figure out the actual words that I want to say. There's definitely some fear or trepidation here. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting because the first card in this column is the Nine of Pentacles, and when you add those together, you get the Ten of Pentacles. So it's almost like somebody realizes, I have to let go of my issues, yeah. or I will never get that Tenth Pentacle. I will never be in a stable relationship. I will never reach that milestone. And I'm signing up for that superficial, like surface level relationship for the rest of my life, basically. 
This person was definitely in the avoid um, intimacy, like serious emotional intimacy. But this person encountered a queen of wands. This person, this masculine that I'm reading about, I feel like it's a masculine who's been, you know, really defensive of their independence. They became mesmerized by a really attractive, alluring feminine energy. And I feel like they were pretty quick to assume my same approach or tactics are going to work on this queen of wands. And then I can like dip, right? But do you see how there's like an angry sunflower behind her? I feel like this person who wanted to be sneaky or dishonest towards this Queen of Wands did not anticipate that number one, the Queen of Wands, she's a warrior queen, warrior queen okay? It's too bad I'm not wearing the Xena outfit. It's next. Um, because this is somebody who's been through some shit and they've like survived it, right? So this person is quick to pick up on deception and also you know, they have a bag of tricks of their own, right? This queen of wands energy. It doesn't have to be a feminine energy. So because it's hidden energy, I feel like there's some element here where the masculine was like kind of taken aback or even a little bit like shocked that this feminine energy was able to affect him the way that she did. Um, because it seems to me like with the hidden energy of the sun being what that, or sorry, the hidden energy clarifying the sun in the reverse feels to me like the Queen of Wands brought this masculine into some utopia, like some happy little land. And he was like, is this fucking real? <laughs> like, and now after things have simmered or ended, there's this remorse regret over what was said, what was done. There's an inability to appreciate the good things that this person has around them because they're so focused on what they messed up in the past. And we have these strength in the reverse, clarifying the eight of wands in the reverse. This person thought that cutting off contact or ending the connection would make them feel stronger again. Like, if I'd been emotionally impacted by this person, if I just push them away, I'll be able to forget them and everything will be fine. But it was actually the opposite. Pushing this person away made them feel weaker. We have the Three of Swords clarifying the Four of Pentacles. And it's lovely to see this in the reverse because that signifies somebody who has been working on healing. So there's some sort of realization here, some sort of understanding that I have to speak my truth, I can't keep lying to myself, I need to like actually dedicate myself to my healing and come clean about what happened here. Oh. Yeah. So what was this person dishonest about? Feeling like you're their soulmate. The lovers is a card that can signify a very major decision. And I feel like it was a very major decision for this masculine, but he underestimated it. And he thought he could make the same decision. But the problem is he was lying to himself. There actually are feelings here, and when you're invested, it's not as easy to walk away unscathed. Mm -hmm. We use Edgar Allan Poe. All three seem to be super appropriate for Halloween, right? <laughs> if this is resonating for you, go ahead and give me a like or a subscribe. All right, what else do we have for long distance no contact? Two of Swords. There was indecision here. It's like, damn, I was really looking forward to just having like me time or not really caring or, you know, never having to care about somebody else. But 
there was this moment in time where this masculine energy felt like he had to actually make a decision, but he couldn't. The feeling I get off this Two of Swords is that there was a desire to lie to oneself about how this masculine actually felt. And with the Five of Swords in the reverse, clarifying the Four of Wands in the reverse, it feels to me like they are realizing now that they have been self-sabotaging and they've been making, you know, choices that really just make their life harder instead of getting them to a point where they can feel happy. They have effectively rejected their own happiness. So now we have the King of Wands clarifying the Five of Cups. So somebody who is regretful that has decided, look at all this fire, right? Like, I need to do something. I can't just fucking sit here. I need to get off my butt and I need to, mm, two of pentacles kind of came out sideways. I feel like this is about choosing because I think he's holding two desserts. Oh, there are two pentacles. One is on a book and one is on a tray. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so I feel like this masculine is now reapproaching this question, this do I, don't I, do I love this person, do I choose a different person, um, perhaps they're choosing between a karmic soulmate and a divine counterpart, but with one of them being on top of a book, it's pretty clear, and I think he acknowledges or understands, sorry, I have to fix the wings, they're like, sad, <laughs> um, realizing like, I need to use my wisdom here, I need to actually use like, my intuition, I can't just keep choosing the thin bullshit, I have to go with something with substance. Ooh, the world in reverse. Clarifying the Three of Swords in the reverse. There's a sense that this masculine wants to tell somebody this is not over yet. I know I messed up, but I can't just like pretend anymore. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, there's an understanding now that they were denying investing in something that actually mattered in favor of something that didn't matter to them. So they're reprioritizing uh, what's actually important to them and how they make those major decisions in life. Mm. All right, we're going to get a little bit more clarity from the Egyptian tarot. <laughs> wow, okay, so we have strength in the reverse again and nine of cups. This is like maybe the third time I've gotten a message that's saying somebody here was being selfish, a little bit too focused on what they wanted um, instead of what they needed, maybe. And it's a weakness of theirs. It's literally how the, you know, low vibe bullshit sneaks into this person's life. We have the five, <laughs> five of wands in the reverse. So yeah, there's an effort to move away from the toxic behavior recognize that this selfishness was encouraging that or you know proliferating it and move into calmer situations because um, doing the now there's a way I wanted to say this but I'm gonna say it differently uh, the like breadcrumbing hot and cold not really able to stay in one place thing really just made this person feel like they couldn't trust anyone. And now they've felt that actual connection with loyalty and trust. And it's hard to go back to that toxic environment where you really don't have anybody that, you know, you can call if you need a ride from three towns over. Knight of Swords, clarifying the world in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's rushing in quick to say, hey, I know I said that I didn't want this, but it's actually driving me crazy. I can't live without you, so you wanna grab some ice cream? 
Oh, just kidding. It's almost November. Um, pizza? <laughs> All right, and then we have death in the reverse. I feel like for many of you, there's going to be a happy ending to this story in terms of somebody being willing to put in the work, be honest, come clean, and then demonstrate their desire to make sure that this relationship proceeds. We'll get this a couple from the Romance Angel Oracle, and then we'll call it a day. So we have give your relationship a chance, pay attention to the red flags, keep an open mind, and stay optimistic about your love life. So I feel like for the large majority of you, this is going to work out because somebody has learned a lesson. For some of you, you need to pay attention to the red flags because somebody is pretending that they've changed when they really haven't. But you'll have you know, intuition to guide you in that situation. And, you know, maybe a few other readings from me. <laughs> all right. I, again, I miss you guys so much. Thank you for all the support. I wish you a very happy Halloween, and I'll see you in the next reading.